I never liked the pink drink, but with the sweet cream cold foam top, it's like a strawberry milkshake. You're welcome. Then we went mini golfing after. I thought I'd be so good at this, but I was wrong. I think I, actually, I think I was pretty good. I was just too impatient. <laughs> Ready. Does this make me look small or does it make me look like a giant? I can't tell. Da, 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 da. I got last place. I have so many dresses and no more balls to go to at the moment. So photo shoot time. Mary Lee is one of my favorite photographers. She's based out of Sacramento. So give her a follow and book a shoot. One of the dresses I brought over was this Blueberry Lyrica Matoshi dress. It's so puffy on me because I'm so small. I look like a cupcake. And this one right here is one of my options that I was thinking about wearing for the Bridgerton experience. I'm back home from my photo shoot. I have so many dresses I want to use and I wanted just to have another photo shoot before I chop off my hair. This is like one of my favorite photographers and I also miss her dogs when I saw her dogs again and they were all jumping up on me and they all want cuddles and made me miss my dogs. But I'm back home, um, maybe I'll take a nap, make some iced coffee, get a lot of work done. I have to do a lot of editing, deal with music, choreo, clean the house maybe. I have an event tomorrow, so I'm trying to keep these curls and make use of it for our event tomorrow. Yeah, Christmas tree is still up. It's almost May. Those streamers, that was from New Year's. Those balloons, Valentine's. Oh my gosh, so much to do. Oh, see, look, Christmas Village, still there. Morning! So I'm gonna get ready for today. Let me choose out a dress to wear. I'm not quite sure. Let's see. That's an option. There's another one. I have no idea what my sister's gonna wear, but maybe I'm gonna wear this one today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear a petticoat under it. I'm gonna try out these eyelashes. It smells so good. Strawberry jam. Yep. Outfit check. This is my strawberry bag, strawberry socks, this dress, and this silky sky puffer. Nice. My hair. Accessories, yes. Mm -hmm. My tone. This is my outfit. I chose absolutely nothing that was in the closet, but I have a crop top, tweed, and this is also a silky puffer. Here's my sister's purse that I'm borrowing, my own Peppa Pig keychain, <laughs> my own Hello Kitty slap bracelet, and accessories from Cost Plus World Market and Forever 21. Nice. <laughs> Hello kitty. It's a big taro milk tea. Ube? Mm -hmm, so 
sriracha chocolate chip. We're gonna try some cookies. I wanna try the sriracha first. Oh, oh my god, who was trying the cookie? Mmm. It's nice and chunky. It doesn't taste like sriracha though. It tastes like a blondie. Mmm. Mm. It actually it's kind of spicy. I like it. Peppa Pig. Mmm. Tastes like a pig. Nice. <laughs> Look at the color. Uh, taro milk tea tastes a lot like matcha. That's oh, my review. Okay. <laughs> Taste of milk tea. Okay. That looks beautiful. Yep. Tastes like a little bit. That's good. Mmm. <laughs> Ignore the mess in this room. I want to sleep on my only day off before the week starts again. Just ignore, just ignore the mess. Last weekend, my sister and I saw Chevalier. Chevalier. She keeps calling it Chevalier, so I kept calling it that. Once we watched the movie and Marie Antoinette said Chevalier, we looked at each other and we're like, oh, that's how you say it. I'm like, you took French. Why didn't, why, how come you didn't know? I loved that movie. I thought it was so good. This may have spoilers, so you might want to mute this part. I recommend everyone to go watch it. I would give the movie four stars because I wanted more music in my face. I wouldn't know if you would call it a, a slow burn or maybe just slow pacing for some parts i just know that i like to watch everything at two times speed so i like to watch things fast i wanted this to be an aesthetic makeup get ready with me moment but whatever <laughs> i got my notebook joseph bologna joseph bologna bologna Bologna. 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 Joseph Bologna. Chevalier is based on a true story of composer Joseph Bologna, and he is the son of an African slave and a French plantation owner. There's a scene in the movie where it shows how he started when he was younger, how his father sent him to a school. He was so cute, talented little boy. Just all the racism and things, like how he was treated. It was very sad. There's a little backstory that they give you in the movie. What I thought was really nice was he and Marie Antoinette were good friends. And it's kind of sad how their relationship, their friendship ended on a sour note. There was a scene where, I don't want to give away too much, but am I? Am I giving away? Well, the Chevalier is a great violin player. He wants to be like head of the opera or something because he knows he's the best and prior to that he and the queen were 
watching the opera and she was going on like, oh how boring is this blah 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 and he's like i could make it better but then when he sees someone who's the head of the opera or whatever he's like i could i'm better than you let's have a competition and the queen is like yeah let's do it let's have a contest but later on she kind of she kind of she kind of i feel like betrays him in a way she can't give him that position even though he's obviously the better person suited for the position i kind of feel like she turned her back on their friendship she was saying like oh i i don't have that power i can't do this i can't do that but you're the queen right isn't what you say go in the end it's so hard to talk while doing your makeup how do how do you do this i'm losing focus marie antoinette and joseph get into a little argument and i remember it ending like him saying you don't know what's going on the streets your people they're starving and it just made me think you know of her saying let them eat cake and it makes me think was she was she dumb or like was she i'm just i'm having this image this image of her like she was ditzy i mean she didn't say she said let them eat cake because she was like oh if they're hungry then just let them eat if there's no bread then eat cake but it's kind of like saying well if you're poor just don't be poor i need to do more research on her i'm just really curious now like was she was she a little ditzy does she just not know what's going on I'm using my phone as a mirror. I cannot see what's going on. <laughs> mm. Actor who plays Joseph Malone and his friend, they're both very good looking. I just have to say, they're both very handsome. In the end of the movie, Joseph was having a concert and the funds for that concert or to fund the revolution. I just kept saying, Chevalier, Egalité, Chevalier, Egalité. I just kept saying those, like the whole day, my sister was like, those are your favorite words now, huh? I'm like, yeah, yeah, Chevalier, Egalité. Later on, Napoleon brought back slavery and he prohibited the French people from listening to Joseph's music. So when that, that is happening, basically, all of Joseph's works were forgotten and erased. So when scholars started rediscovering his stuff, I'm like, oh, good. I want more music. Does he have an album? Could I find him on Spotify? <laughs> I have a record player. I would love to have more classical music. Oh, in the beginning of the movie, he and Mozart were kind of having like a... What would you call it? Dance battle? It's not a dance battle. They're, they were going at it with their violins. And then I'm like... Gosh, I didn't know. Was was Mozart? I didn't know Mozart was a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was he? See, now I now I need to know. I need to know more about Marie Antoinette. Mozart. Joseph. This movie got a 91%. Awesome. Well, 91% of Google users, a 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb, and 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. But I'm liking that 91% of Google users liking it. I love the movie. I just wish there was more music. I think it's just that. Yeah. At the end of the movie, my sister, she also agreed that the two guys are pretty cute. She was looking up Joseph Boulogne. Joseph Boulogne. Joseph and she was like, oh, so this is how he looks like. And then next to his image was, was it an AI image of him, I guess, of like how he would probably look today. I thought that was funny. Like, who is this? Why is it right next? Who is this? Okay. 
that is his profile picture for Spotify. So yes, Chevalier, go see it. Go see it. It's the untold history of Joseph Malone. Maybe he's greater than Mozart, but all his works were suppressed by Napoleon. We should totally just snap Napoleon. On another note, I have some coach bags to unbox. So my favorite brands for bags, at least, are Prada, Louis Vuitton, and Coach. I love Coach. I'm always trying to get things on sale. They've had a lot of collections I wanted. I think there was a peach collection. There were cherries. There was a dinosaur collection I really wanted because I love dinosaurs. And there was a peanuts collection. I got one of the bags. This was one of the bags. This was from Christmas. But you don't need to use it only for Christmas because every day is a gift. I love Snoopy so much. I wish I had the whole round bag collection, but I, I'm so glad I got this one on sale. And what else was I saying? What else was I saying? They had a Lunar New Year collection, which I wanted. The thing is, I wait for things to go on sale. When I see it, I'm like, okay, maybe tomorrow it'll go down. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow it will go down. Sometimes it works, you know? On the website, sometimes it says, oh, only two left, only one left. So I got this when it was down to only two left. I was waiting for the other things to, to be marked down, but I missed my chance. I didn't get the bags I wanted. I didn't get the sweaters. I really wanted the sweaters. I think I talk more about it in my January vlog, which I still have not edited but I will still upload it because whatever. Nothing on this channel is chronologically uploaded. <laughs> One of the most recent collections was a strawberry collection and I love, I love the look of strawberries. When I saw this certain bag, I thought, oh, it's, it's perfect to go with my strawberry dress. Just fill this in a little bit. I don't really care for eyebrows. During quarantine, I wish I shaved them off. I had my chance and I missed, I missed, I missed out on it. I had a feeling, what if I get hired and I just show up with no eyebrows? <sighs> Maybe one day I'll shave them all off and then I'll try on those tattoo ones. That seems like a fun project. <laughs> yeah. I wanna try that, I wanna try that. Am I recording? I don't know, I'm using this as a mirror. Ah! Eh. The brush touched my contact. I can't see. Does it look okay? Before I do my coach unboxing, I wanna do a little cutesy haul. Ah! This is from Daiso. I don't know why it was so empty t that day, but you know, good. I didn't have to wait in line for a lot of things. Look what we got, yeah. If we could play badminton and be a whole lot easier for me to hit this. Now this is a find. I got some more stickers from Daiso. Pink aesthetic. It's pretty. I love it for my planner. Ooh, this is like a like a cafe aesthetic. I love the colors. Very brown taupe latte carved. This one it's full of really nice skies. Very beautiful. And I got two of these. These are for my students. Ooh, look at these cute holographic sweets stickers. No, I want these for myself. Okay, this one's for me. This is for them. In Japantown, I also got these tattoos. I'm so excited to try these. It'd be really nice if I had them like on my arms and on my chest, my decollete, and then I wear a really nice flowery dress. I love tattoos. Okay, this one is really pretty. It looks like watercolor flowers. It says, like a real tattoo, but fake. No kidding, you don't say. 
this one is very elegant looking. It's a whole bunch of blue watercolor tattoo flowers. And this one is really awesome. These ones are embroidery tattoos. See, look, there's embroidery detail in the tattoo. It looks like embroidery and that's really cool. Most of the things I got from Japantown were food. These are the other things from Five Below that I forgot to include in my other haul. I don't know if I really showed you guys this. Jesus pins, so cute. I wanna put them on my bag straps. Jesus loves you. I got this Care Bear. In middle school, Care Bears were so popular. Everyone was collecting Care Bears and I didn't have any. But this one was from Five Below. They had a bunch at Five Below. These are obviously, obviously not like the more expensive ones you get in the store. I think those are like firmer, chunkier, but this is so cute. I love it, it's so purple. I like the flower because it reminds me of the Murakami flowers. This is Harmony Bear. Perfect harmony. The Care Bear's heart on the butt. I have these two Squishmallows. I love these. These are the Bigfoot ones. They're so cute. See them together. This is the girl. This is the boy. They're so funny looking. This one is Zaylee. Zaylee loves to do silly things like speak her own language with her friends, walk sideways on the playground, and drink milkshakes through a crazy straw. What should she do next? We're twins. I also love milkshakes. Bigfoot, but then their feet are so tiny. <laughs> Cute. Here's the boy. Benny. Benny is a Bigfoot and one of the smartest creatures in the woods. He loves to run and play with his pals in the forest and beyond. When he is not running around, you can often find him taking photographs with woodland friends. Cute. <laughs> okay, now on to the coach unboxing. I have work today, so I'm trying to do all of this before I have to get ready for work. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty messenger bag oh my god i love the embossing on there I, I don't know if i'm even saying the right words this kind of style like again it makes me think like a vintage airline i'm thinking pan am like those times 50s 60s 70s on mine this looked a more yellow but it's the usual like beige taupe color but when I saw the blue and the yellow, I thought I could wear this with blueberry dress, with the lemon dress. First, what caught my eye was the crossbody. So it was between that and this. But when I saw pictures of it being modeled, this one just looked better. And I'm glad I got this one. I could also wear this to work as well. It's a nice, sturdy, chunky bag. I got this on sale for about 100 something. It says comparable value 428. So I always love going through the coach sale and clearance sections. Da -dum, da -dum. So many things you could stuff in here books, sandwiches. Ah, oh, I love it. Coach number one. After this, I'm gonna clean this room. I cannot breathe. Oh yeah, yeah. I love strawberry anything. Oh my gosh, yes. It's so beautiful. Happy birthday to me. The coach tag it says coach right there. It makes me think of a crescent bag or a croissant. Black with strawberries to go with my black strawberry dress. I love this shape. It's like it's flat. It just looks so nice. Okay, how does the inside look like? Okay, inside looks like that. For some reason, I was thinking it's going to be strawberries on the inside too. But no. Yes! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I got it for, again, a hundred something. There was like a sale and then there was another 15% off. So I got a really good price for this. This was originally 328. Those were my two coach bags, coach unboxing. Snoopy wants to make another appearance. I'm gonna try these on with my dresses. This is gonna be out of order, but whatever. I also got one Timu package. So I ordered a bunch of things, but then one of them, one of my orders came in. So next week, it's gonna be more of a tryout haul. So there's a lot of things that I got that I'm really excited for. I'm gonna try them out. One of my last patients was saying, did you hear about Timu? Do you know what that is? Have you heard of it? I'm like, yeah, Thai. I'm, it, I'm going crazy over there. I, I've already made so many orders. So I've already made three orders. I have to stop. I have to delete the app because it's I'm, it's dangerous. Even at the end of work, I was like scrolling through the app and showing one of the nurses, like, see, this is Timu. I'm buying so many things. <laughs> the thing is, here's a hack with anything. If you want something, put it all in your cart. Don't buy it. Just leave it in there for probably probably a few days a week and let it stew in there and then eventually you won't want it anymore yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but <laughs> i can't wait for my things to come in i'm going to show you guys and i'm going to try them out so tune in next week for my tryout haul yep i guess i'm going to end this video with me modeling the bags and putting on my dresses bye you guys bye chevalier Chevalier. Can't stop saying that word. <laughs> I found it. <clears throat> well, I only found one. I know that there's another one somewhere here. I'm back on top, baby. I'll be amazing in no time. The bow is missing. Where did it go? Where did it go?